Hey guys, Dan the Medic here. Welcome to the channel. Now today I'm here in Philadelphia with my good friend Kim Chi. Right now, Kim Chi has lived here his entire adult life. He's into all things Korean. He even lived in Korea. He speaks the language. Yada yada yada, all that. Right now, Kim Chi said, "This is the best Korean restaurant in Philadelphia." Right? Like yep. there's two locations, but this is one of the locations. Right? And he actually knows the chef, Chef Chris Cho. Amazing guys, the best, the best guys. It is. I, I can't pronounce the name of the place. How do you pronounce it? Sorabol. See, I, I would be like, the who? All right, so let's check it out. All right, guys, we are seated. They got printed chopstick covers. This looks rather medical. It's like they sterilized it or something. Oh, no, it's open. It's like, oops. Food and travel, guys, food and travel. All right, so what should we, what should we get? Well, generally, you could do Korean barbecue, but that's kind of expensive. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, mm. You could do... Something Korean would be uh, bibimbap. Uh, sir, there's no prices on the menu. Well, there are on the other side. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm looking at the menu. Now, the chef is Chris Cho, right? Chris Cho. Now, over here, it says General Cho Chicken. Chef Chris's signature fried boneless chicken. And I'm looking at the rest of the menu, nothing else bears his name. I think we should go for this. I think we should, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can, you can get that, and then we can share one of the bibimbaps. Okay. No. And here we have General Cho Chicken. Let's take a closer look. I do believe this is white meat as you can see here it's hot it's very tender I, I like it 8.7 8 I say it's pretty darn good 8.7 There's been something that I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah. Right? Decades ago, I went to a Korean nightclub, right? I walk in there, and they're like, you have to buy a plate of fruit. I'm like, why, why do I need to buy a plate of fruit? fruit you know? I said, no, you need to buy the plate of fruit, or else you can't sit down. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I find I'm not going to sit down. Right? So I'm standing there in the club. And there's like tables and chairs all around. It's like a nightclub, people dancing and stuff. And I finally got so tired. And obviously there's a table where people had left. Napkins were on the table, cups were all empty. So I sat down and said, you know what? I mean my legs, my back, I so I sat down. And I'm looking at the plate of fruit. Hundreds of dollars for that plate of fruit, guys. I was like, I mean, they're gone, right? So I took a piece of fruit and I ate it the best fruit I ever had in my life. Fresh, sweet, like it's like so perfect. I'm just like, oh. That fruit 
was so good. It was like a 10, level 10 fruit. Mm. Well, so what's, what's the deal with this? Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Right here is fine? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's take a closer look at this thing. Wow. So it'll remain hot for a while. So don't touch that. It's very hot. Don't wow, want to touch it. It is really hot, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't don't touch it. It's hot. So that's the gochujang, basically the paste. You would normally put it on top if you want to. Gochu's pepper jang is paste, so pepper paste. Wow. Yeah. Would you like would you want to add the uh, how would Korean people do this? So you would add it, then you mix. Okay, then whatever Korean people do. You do you, you handle spicy? Well, I'll sample it. If I can't eat it, I can't eat it. Okay. You know? Do you want to taste it before normally with it? I have no clue. We'll, we'll, we'll do as the Romans do. I would say let's we can mix it a little bit. Or actually, you can just do it. You can just grab. You can bite into it with your spoon. Grab a piece. Eat that. Oh, well, just, 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 just do, just do, it? do okay. the, the authentic way. Do the authentic way. The authentic way. Here we go. Wow, that's really authentic, guys. That's so authentic. You put it all. So the egg is breaking. Well, he did that. If it is really spicy, guys. I have my tap water. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. it exactly like it looked before he mixed it up <laughs> right it got all that stuff in it and it tastes like all that stuff now what I did not expect was that there is some grains of rice in it that is hard it's kind of stuck in my molar Right? I believe that comes from the stone pot that's really hot and it kind of toasted the rice. Yeah. That's the main purpose of it. That, that's on purpose. Mm -hmm. I never knew. Because, you know, I'm Chinese, so we don't do that. Not that I know. I don't know. Is this good? Or. What, what, what would you what would you say this is? Mm. Like a seven and a half? That's exactly what I thought. You know, I just didn't want to say it. You know, <laughs> like just in case I'm wrong. You know, but I was thinking, yeah, yeah, like, like seven and a half. Well, if you go to, if you go to Montgomery County, or I think if you go to even to New York on the 32nd street on all the Korean restaurants I would say this is slightly better than those if you, if you, were, if you were to buy the, the bibimbap over there or here or anywhere else <clears throat> so even, even if it's a 7.5 it's better than the others okay what would be uh, where would you find a level 9 plus uh, in your experience, bibimbap. I know where. Where? Because I've had it before. Where, where? Jeju Island. The it's, it's an island of south of South Korea. Oh. It's a, like a 30 minute flight. 
You have to fly to it. You have to fly to, to Korea. Uh-huh. Then if you well, if you fly to Busan, you can uh-huh. fly from Busan to Jeju Island, and it takes like 30, 40 minutes. And then you drive. And then you drive. Like two hours, and you pay ten dollars for the best Jeju bibimbap you could you would ever have. Amazing guys, write that down if you ever end up in Korea. Okay, now it is time for our final thoughts. We're gonna start with Kimchi, the expert of all things Korean in the universe. All right, Kimchi, what do you think of today's meal? I think it's good. I think I, I did like the the chicken. I, I haven't had it before, and I did have fried chicken last week in Boston, and this one was better than that one. Hmm. Alright. The, 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 the dosa bibimbap was okay. More better than others, but just okay, it's good. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to go with exactly what he said. Alright, thank you for watching the video. Have a good one, guys.